Hey guys, Will here. Welcome to the first devlog of a game that I'm going to be working on. Currently there isn't a whole lot to show in the game, but it is technically working. Uh, I want to go ahead and make these videos not only to help keep myself motivated, but to show you, you guys what I'm doing and get some feedback on what you guys think of it, how it's going. So as you can see, right now I'm just trying to get up some of the initial classes some of the basic structure for the game. The game is going to be heavily physics based and right now I'm just trying to set up some of the mechanics for that. At first the ball wasn't doing exactly what I wanted to and it took a little bit to get it reflecting properly. Next I wanted to make a way to get the objects on the screen. So I set up a basic spawner which just produces as many balls as you tell it to and fires them out at the angle that whichever direction is facing. At this point I needed a way to get the balls off the screen now so I set up a simple collector and it just takes in a ball as soon as it touches and removes it from the screen. I'd like to have it so that the collectors can pick up only the specified type of ball and they just ignore any other ones so that in the future there's a way to have requirements about which object goes to which place. So here I'm going ahead and starting on the player input. The input for this game is going to be quite simple in that there's not a lot that's required from the player. You're going to be drawing simple lines across the screen. I would like the lines to be varied, not necessarily straight, but as you can see, that's kind of what it starts out as, just straight lines. Uh, it took me quite a while to get the lines to render properly on the screen and in a way that you could actually see them. And the lines are still just a default texture, so that's going to have to be changed in the future as well. After I got the lines actually drawing on the screen, it needed to interact with the ball, which posed the second problem of this. It took me quite a while to figure out how to get the collider actually attached to the line even if the line was curved. Having a curved line made it a lot harder. I had to keep track of all of the different points and essentially create a collider at each time that we added a new point, which eventually I figured out, got it working, and condensed my code down a little bit so that it looked a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to see. And final result is that lines could be curved, lines could be straight, However you drew them on the screen is how they would actually show up. And they interacted with the ball. But I was having another issue where sometimes when you release the line, it didn't actually show up. So after I got the game basically working, I wanted to make some better graphics for the game so that it looked a little bit nicer and actually resembled a game. So here I'm making a basic border for the level. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot to it. but I think it'll do the purpose for now. I'll probably change them in the future. These are just temporary. I needed a few other things and I thought it would be a good idea to add some kind of obstacle into the game. So while I was making graphics, I decided to make this spike that I'll put into the game as well. Then I went ahead and just built a basic frame for the level, added it, and updated all of my prefabs to contain the actual graphic that I'm gonna be using, more or less temporary and it actually looks kind of like a game now. So at that point I thought well maybe it would be a lot easier to construct levels if I built everything with tile map rules. Uh, this was new for me, I haven't tried it before so I went ahead and tried to make a basic sprite sheet with the border tile and resized it and edited it so many times. I'm not sure if it's gonna work in the end but right now it's kinda working. They go on the screen and it makes a border, but they're not oriented the way they should be, so it's going to take some more work, a little bit more tweaking. I'm not quite sure how much of it is going to get fixed, or I might end up just scrapping the idea altogether. So here's the final gameplay as it is now. You can see that it all does actually work uh, as you draw lines on the screen. The balls interact with it, they bounce all around. It hit a spike, they're going to get destroyed, 
and if you manage to get it into the collector, it also gets destroyed. So there's no obvious response either way. There's one bug that I have found right here. You can see the balls can get stuck in the small corners. And I think that has to do with the shape of the collider that's built onto my tile. So I think that shouldn't be too hard to fix. I think that it will be done in the next iteration. So that is the current state of the game and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any comments about the game or things you think that could be improved with it. Just your opinion in general would be helpful. I plan to continue making these logs every week just to keep you guys updated on it, show you what's going on. But that about wraps it up for this time, so I will catch you in the next video. Later.